So let's talk about one of the most important things that I see a lot of people who aren't <laughs> photographers still using as a part of their workflow in Photoshop. I mean, I'm a photographer, but I meet tons of people and they're like, raw filter, I don't use that. I don't have a camera. That doesn't matter. It's an amazingly powerful engine that allows you to do all kinds of editing to any photo inside of Photoshop. It just fakes as if you had the raw file. So this was a picture that a buddy of mine took and uh, he, was, he was shooting this model. And uh, I'm just gonna convert this layer to a smart object because everyone has seen enough Adobe marketing about why we need smart objects. So duh, non-destructive editing. Okay, now I'm gonna come down to where it says camera raw filter. Okay, so just show of hands real quick. How many people don't use camera raw filter? Don't use it. Yeah, most of the room. Okay, good. So here's the thing. You know, we are used to using things like levels and curves and all these types of adjustments to make tonal corrections to our photographs. And I could talk about this stuff all day long. But there's a feature in here that is called the adjustment brush. It is a very cool feature. You'll notice that when I clicked on it, it immediately jumped over to this adjustment brush editor. Now, there's a lot of stuff I could, I could do in here, but I'm gonna scroll down. Oh, your trackpad's backwards too. Why do you hate me? <laughs> Why? What did I do to you? All right, so there's a feature in here that Adobe announced uh, during Max, uh, I think two versions ago, that was called Dehaze. Has anybody seen the video on that? It was really cool, but the idea, every demo about it was, there's fog on your landscape, and when you use Dehaze, the fog is gone. Right? And it was like magical and like landscape photographers in the room were like, oh my God, right? And they just give it, I, my monies, right? Take it. But nobody really explained how it worked. So let me explain just for a second how it works. Everybody knows clarity if you play with the raw editor because people are addicted to it. It's, it's like crack. They're just like, oh, the detail, it's insane, right? And they play with this thing. But if I take this brush, and it's so big, David, why is your brush so big? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here and turn on this feature called mask, okay? And that part's auto mask. So this is kind of like magic wand. But what it allows me to do is paint in here, and your flow is all messed up and everything. Why, you just don't like me. I just don't understand. It's personal. Am I not pretty? What's, what's going on? All right. It's the cat thing. It's the cat thing. All right, I'm about to run out of time. I'm about to run out of time, but I lost some time, okay. So let me kick this, I'm gonna turn mask off. Here's the deal, Dehaze is a contrast adjustment controller that looks for detail. Do you guys see that her dress is blown out? If I go to Dehaze and slide it, screw you, timer. All right, look, watch her dress come back. Right? Desaturate it, boom. She has a dress, I open it up, all the details were covered from the blowout, it's a smart object, non-destructive editing, boom!